<laughs> My friend Roy <laughs> mentioned to me one time that he had a friend that I've never met that had a particular fondness for strawberries, which reminded me of a story. And so I'll fall into a character right away so we can get started. But it went something like this. There was a British or English gentleman, very refined, well-educated, but above all, he was a sporting man. <laughs> And he was back at an exclusive men's club where there were carom tables and smoking rooms and he had a special cigar in the smoking room and with a snifter of brandy and he proceeds to tell the story. And it goes like this. He was maybe a fortnight before he got back to England, the mother island, and he played all sorts of games with this American chap that he'd met, that he'd been around the world. And of course, I'd been around the world several times, being a sporting person, I, that's not unusual. But we played all sorts of games, chess, shuffleboard, pinochle, even polo. <laughs> And I liked him at all of his games thoroughly. There was no competition whatsoever. Of course, me being a sporting man, as it were. Anyway, we were not far before we got to the mother Ali. He, in desperation, apparently says, "How about playing one more game?" Well, me being you know a sporting man, I couldn't decline the challenge and the challenge, and I accepted and he said be out on the deck the next morning at the shuffleboard area at eight o'clock. Eight hundred hours. Eight hundred. Uh, well, me being a sporting man I accepted and I was there maybe a few minutes early. Give him the benefit of the doubt and it was a bit cold if I recall. Brisk, it was a chilly and uh, sure enough Right around eight o'clock, here comes this American fellow with two, two cartons of strawberries, one in each hand, and approaches me and places down on the deck beside him and he takes his clothes off. And I thought to myself, you know, this fellow is trying to get me off stride. Me being a spotting man, I took off my clothes too, and we we're both standing out there naked as jays. <laughs> Damn it, it was cold. <laughs> Damn it, it was cold. He reaches over to his cotton of strawberries, pulls one out, and wedges, bends over and wedges it between the cheeks of his buttocks, and blew it out to sea. <laughs> And I thought to myself, he's got a guy. <laughs> he's got a guy. But I'm going to be on point and I was ready. So uh, with a steady eye, I reached over to my cotton of strawberries, pulled one out as I had picked perfectly. Browned, succulent, red. But above all, it was tapered, and I knew it was a perfect fit, and destiny was on my side. <laughs> <laughs> so I faced the ocean uh, with my buttocks, and bent over and wedged it uh, between the cheeks of my buttocks, and before I could say, God save them, Queen, the bloke had it in me, strawberry and all. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>